So in this video, we're going to install Ubuntu on this laptop. We created the USB earlier and you see it's right here. And the Windows uh, diskit is out of the drive. We're going to turn on power on the computer and we have to go to the BIOS by pressing escape. So for F10, we press the other bias, and basically what we have to do is we have to go and change the boot options, and make sure that the boot order and US, USB floppy and USB disk get on the very top, and then we can exit out and it will run its course. No. So since it's already done, uh, we can either press escape and exit out of it, but you can press F10. Let's go press F10, yes. <clears throat> now the laptop will boot from the USB. And that's purple right there. Ubuntu. I have a SSD inside that's a that actually has a good installation of Windows 10. Um, I'm gonna just let it uh, let that installation go to ruins. Um, I have an HD uh, that I can install um, but not right now I think. I want to see if, like, if how fast it is running on an SD. So we can click on install and see if it detects that um, SSD or not. It says connect to a Wi-Fi network. Well, actually, we can. If I remember the password correctly, and I think it's connected. But I don't know. Is it? Let's see, it's saying connecting and it does or not. The good thing is, right out of the box, you've been to uh, could detect the Wi Fi adapter. That's blinking, you can see down there. Uh, in Windows normally it turns blue when it's on and it turned blue for a while okay it is blue now oh is it connected?
It's taking too long. I think it is. Continue. Normal installation. We go with the installation. And we can always update if we add to something. Install now. Erase disk. And install Ubuntu. Okay. I don't want to interrupt anything. Yeah. Correct time zone. All too familiar. Your yeah, name. Choose a password. Let's enter a password. Let's click on this thing. I'm actually surprised. This laptop is a very old laptop. It's at least 11 years old. And it actually um, picked up my USB as in installation source the other day I tried uh, installing Windows 10 from that uh, Windows 10 disk right there and that did not work it will not boot from here but this one is a welcome change
and this machine is taking a lot longer on that uh, powerful uh, desktop it, it I wanna say it took maybe or maybe about the same time that whole video is about 20 minutes 19 minutes and we are 11 minutes into this video and it's still going on Installation is complete. You need to restart the computer in, new, in order to use the new installation. I want to restart it and I hope it is not. Um, since it's set complete, I'm gonna unplug the USB here. Please move the installation media, then press enter. Okay, they detected it. Right. Press enter. Turn purple. Oh, and there it is. Uh, on the on the camera, it's a lot purple. Like it's light purple, but uh, in the actual screen, it's uh, dark purple. Let's give me the. Now the screen is really weird. You can see all those lines. It's gone. Is it initializing the? VGA or something. Let's send to the password and see if it welcomes us. Takes in the password, no errors. That's how well the laptop is, and it it works fine on the Windows. Um, that's weird. Is that another fail, or is just initializing the VGA? Maybe I'm not supposed to run a Ubuntu.
nothing see that uh, crazy screen which is all distorted uh, by pressing alt control and delete so I'm back to the loading screen I'm gonna try to enter a password one more time if it does not work does not give me a proper desktop uh, and a good screen I'm gonna simply go and install uh, windows on it nothing happening okay okay yep so it started let's see if this sound oh yeah sound is working surprisingly and it is connected to the network name on the virtual machine it was not connect uh, it was not giving any sounds so this is good let's see if this works web browser that's all I need for the time being it does let's try to go to YouTube and play a video and see if uh, I'm able to what no Okay. I so far I don't see that I have to download any drivers of any kind. A uh, 51 spooky. My name is Malcolm Whitley. Okay. My father is one of the most notorious serial killers since Jack the Ripper. All while raising me as the perfect dad. I can help you. Bye. Okay, the touchscreen on the video is a little spotty but overall it's working so it looks like it's good and let's see what happens when I press the windows button the screen darkens a little bit but nothing happens other than that escape so loading and now what happens ah so windows button basically is like a toggle but no what did it do okay and pressing window basically you can ah okay what's on over there is it another desktop is it like a multiple desktop thing like virtual desktops I'm not sure rhythm box I don't want to let's click on open and then a fire bar and open the Ubuntu software click on help multiple windows open and now we'll see what happened when I press oh okay so this is basically like um, <clears throat> pressing windows button kind of works like the feature in windows where you can uh, um, press window and tab together and it gives you all these screens to choose from that's uh, uh, what happens on Ubuntu so I can click on any and that will come to the front okay nothing happened there yeah. well it's good so I'm gonna turn off the video and play with it a little bit but uh, Ubuntu is installed it's working I'm happy yay thanks for watching